peace to everybody. This is about I'm the shooter, accused of Paso gunman told police he was targeting Mexicans. Now this person confessed that he was a shooter, but why did he tell the police that though? Hmm, makes you kind of wonder. And of course, there are the two police officers that are by the back door checking to see if everything's okay or not. <clears throat> the man, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. The man accused of gunning down 22 people at an El Paso Walmart last week confessed to the grisly crime and admitted he was targeting people of Mexican descent, according to unsealed court documents Friday. Um, okay, so according to the unsealed doc court documents, um, the shooter admitted of killing 22 people. He confessed to the crime. So, but that's not going to get him off allegedly, So, but he still committed these crimes allegedly. <laughs> Texas Rangers responding to the scene in an unmarked car came up to a vehicle in the left-hand turn lane at an intersection when the suspect surrendered according to the arrest warrant written by El Paso Police Detective Adrian Garcia. So, Adrian Garcia had written an arrest warrant to get this person. And the, the Texas Rangers, they responded to the scene in an unmarked car. And, of course, they pulled up to a vehicle in the left-hand turn lane at an intersection. Um, the suspect surrendered. Agents and the police officers at the intersection then observed a male person to exit out of the vehicle with his hands raised in the air and start, stated out loud to the agents, I'm the shooter, Garcia wrote. So when the agents and police got to the intersection, they did observe a man getting out of a vehicle. Um, the person raised his hands and he stated out to the agents, I'm the shooter. Alright, so he confessed. But why? Because he was a because he didn't want to feel guilty anymore or what? Patrick Cruz's 21 later waived his Miranda rights against self-incrimination and spoke with detectives. So Patrick is 21 years old. Um, he waived his rights, his Miranda rights and against all self-incrimination. So he incriminated himself for what he has done. He told the agents what he had done. The defendant stated he drove to the listed location from Allen, Texas and entered the store with an assault rifle, AK-47, shooting multiple innocent victims, Garcia wrote. The defendant stated his target was Mexicans. So why is why was he going after Mexicans? This is what I don't understand. Why is he going after only the Mexicans? Because they enter our country illegally? But that doesn't give him the right to go and take an alleged AK-47 and start shooting everybody. That, that's not the way it's supposed to be done. But he confessed to this crime by shooting 22 people. An overwhelming majority of those killed has Spanish surnames. El Paso's population is more than 80% Hispanic, according to the most recent census data. All right, so El Paso has a population of 80% Hispanic. Okay. And it was according to the most recent census data. Um, which, and of course, an overwhelming majority of those killed have Spanish surnames. And we don't know what they are, but they had them. Let me put it that way. They had surnames. But it's kind of unusual names they probably had that we never heard of before. 
The suspect has been charged with capital murder and is being held without bail. El Paso prosecutors have already said they will seek the death penalty. Uh, all right, so suspect has been charged. Um, and of course, it was with capital murder and is being held without bail. So there's no bail for him. Um, the El Paso prosecutors have already said they will seek the death penalty. So the guy that allegedly shot all 22 people is gonna will more likely see the death penalty. Just before Saturday's attack, a hate-filled racist screed linked to the suspect was posted on 8chan, an online forum popular with extremists. The rant decried the invasion of Mexican immigrants to the United States and hailed the Christchurch, New Zealand mosque shooter an anti-immigrant white supremacist who left 51 dead in March. So what? I, I figured sooner or later this was going to come up. The white supremacists. What do they have to do with this? Not a damn thing. Um, there was a hate-filled racist greed linked to the suspect was posted on 8chan. Now, I don't know what 8chan looks like, so... And of course, the rant decided the invasion of Mexican immigrants to the United States and hailed the Christ Church, New Zealand, and mosque shooter. Ah, uh, okay. But this doesn't really make any sense for some reason. Because now you've got these white supremacists who are the hate group of people of all different colors and of course you're gonna blame everything on them of course and and it and they left 31 dead in March the writer said he was angry about Mexican immigration long before the election of President Donald Trump who based much of his 2016 campaign on building a wall between the US and Mexico well first of all Donald Trump has nothing to do with this he has nothing to do with the alleged mass shooting. He wasn't even there. So why, why throw him in all this mess? Now, Donald Trump, I know he cannot be trusted, really. But he was doing a campaign in 2016 about building a wall between the U.S. and Mexico. Which I think is kind of ridiculous anyways, because, you know, I mean, Donald Trump is not exactly all there. Let me put it that way. He's missing about a few screws or so. And so the, and the writer said he was angry about Mexican immigration. Not that it's just plain sick. El Paso police originally said 20 people were killed Saturday but two more died from their wounds in the following days. About two dozen others were injured in the attack. So you got 20 people that were killed Saturday, and two more had died. Now, were they, did they die at the hospital, or did they die from the alleged mass shooting? Well, we'll never know. And of course, they, two, the two more that allegedly died had died from their wounds in the following days and of course two dozen others were injured in the attack the El Paso shooting preceded another mass shooting the following day in Dayton Ohio where nine people were killed in a popular downtown entertainment district and of course you know I never been to Dayton but I'm pretty sure they have popular restaurants and everything down there. But um, there was another shooting the following day. Of course, it was in Dayton, Ohio, where nine people had died, were killed in a popular downtown entertainment district. So it makes you kind of wonder if the alleged shooter was going to confess or not. But then, of course, I think the police might have allegedly caught him for that one 
but the one that in El Paso he confessed. Now why did he confess? Because he didn't want to incriminate himself any further than what he did. So he wanted to give up all his incrimination for what he has done. And you know, I mean, this is a very strange story right here. But you know, I, I mean, confessing to a murder? I don't know. Leave your comments below. I am out.